So, what's going on here? Hey guys, so like... Hey girl! I'm in the middle of editing and my Instagram account got deleted and... Oh, sorry. That sounds bad. I'm in LA because I want to be on Instagram and I'm randomly just recording this to put this in the video. I... I am nothing without my following. I am nothing without my following. Um, girl, it's not that deep. What were you before Instagram? A bucket of nothing. I am sure your mother gave back to something, not an empty space of nothing. I want to say to everybody that's been reporting me, think twice because you're ruining my life. Because I make all of my money online. All of it. Don't worry. The internet is still here. You can still make money again. I don't want to lose that. And I know people like to see me be down and be like them and be like the 90 percenters, the people that work nine to five. That is not me. I am in LA to not be like that. I hey, that is offensive. The people that work nine to five are not beat down. The internet service you are using right now and the clothes you are wearing and the transport you took to LA is because of people that work 9 to 5. So put some respect on 9 to 5 people's name. I worked so fucking hard to get to where I'm at and for that to get taken from me is the worst fucking feeling in the world. My friend, taking pictures for Instagram is like drinking water. It's not hard work. Anybody can do it. I can do it in my sleep. I can do it when I am using the toilet. It's just snap snap and push buttons to put filter on it. Voila, that is it. And I don't think people understand that like, this is my fucking life. Uh, if your Instagram is your life, how comes your Instagram is dead and you are still alive? Did your mother give birth to an Instagram account or what? I am nothing. I was a fucking prostitute for God's sakes. I was a fucking prostitute. Uh -huh. Okay. That just took a weird turn. But make up your mind. Were you a prostitute or were you a nothing? I was a fucking prostitute. I stripped every single day. I don't even do that shit anymore because I make all of my money online. <laughs> I don't want to go back to that life. Damn girl. Instagram and prostitution are not the only options in this world. You could start a business or work at McDonald's or something. Those are not the only two options. This is the type of person that thinks men are only cash machines and penises. Those are not the only two options. We are also assholes. Imagine if you were in my shoes. I was abandoned from my fucking family. I've been backstabbed from everybody I know. Everybody? Damn, that's a lot. <sighs> Except for maybe two people. Okay, that's not everybody. Three people in my life. Three fucking people in my life has not backstabbed me yet. Goddamn, woman, make up your mind. Is it everybody or is it not everybody? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like... <laughs> Try to be in my shoes for once because I guarantee you none of you would fucking last in my shoes. <laughs> no, I will not be in your shoes because I don't want to be an Instagram girl and I am too expensive to be a prostitute and I do not want to be a nothing. What some of you guys have to realize is I have no skills. I'm 20 fucking thousand dollars in debt from school, from college. So I can't even go to college if I fucking wanted to. Holy shit, you are useless. College was paid for and you have no skills. And then you think Instagram and prostitution are the only job options. Fuck me in the eye. This girl is more useless than the letter K in knife. I used to work at fucking McDonald's before I did fucking YouTube, Instagram, before I had 100,000 followers, before I had everything in my life. I was a fucking loser. Hey, I told you to put some respect on workers' names. McDonald's workers are not losers. Those fries they make taste better than any prostitute. N not that I know how prostitutes taste like. I'm just, I, I'm just assuming. And I have no job qualifications. I could never work a normal job. 
I am worthless. I am, I bring nothing to the table. Zero. I bring nothing to the fucking table. I agree. Zero. I bring nothing to the fucking table when it comes to that. I always get in fights with people. I always get kicked out of places. Like, I'm not work material. I will never be work material. So stop fucking reporting me on motherfucking Instagram. The last thing I want to do is be a fucking homeless prostitute in the fucking street doing meth. Well, since you are admitting that it's your fault that you are not work material, and these days people can become whatever they want to be, I suggest you become a table because tables are useful and they don't get into fights and nobody can collect depth from them so for your own good you better become a piece of furniture that's it Yalla.